Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he has ordered the military to come up with a plan to evacuate civilians from the southern Gaza town of Rafah. This comes ahead of an expected Israeli military, military operation there. It also comes at a time of growing international concerns about the fate of Rafah's civilian population. Israel says that Rafah is the last remaining Hamas bastion in Gaza and that it needs to destroy the group's military forces there in order to achieve victory. But it faces a daunting challenge. Hundreds of thousands of people have fled to Rafah from fighting elsewhere in Gaza. Rafah is located on the Egyptian border, and normally it's home to about 280,000 people. Those numbers have swelled to roughly one and a half million people. That's well over half of Gaza's entire population. And many, if not most of these people, are now living in sprawling tent camps that have dotted up across the city. Israel's intention to invade Rafah has drawn heavy international concerns. The U.S. says that without a proper plan, an Israeli invasion will be a disaster. U.N. officials also have issued similar concerns. Netanyahu says he wants the army to come up with a combined plan. He wants them to figure out how to destroy Hamas's remaining forces, but he also wants them to figure out how to get the civilian population evacuated. This is no easy task. Gaza has been heavily damaged throughout this war, and there are few places for people to go back to. Netanyahu's announcement signals that he is aware of these uh, challenges and the international concerns about an operation in Rafah, but it also signals that he has no intention from backing down from his plan to invade.